This is the Power Platform Daily Brief for Monday, August 5th, 2019. I'm Joel Lindstrom, and this is what you need to know about the Power Platform today in 10 minutes or less. And the first thing you need to know is that the early opt-in for the Dynamics 365 2019 Wave 2 is now out. So if you go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and click on Environments, you can now add the preview of the Wave 2 to any of your environments. So you click on your, uh, on your say, Sandbox environment, and down in the right corner, there's Updates, and Update Release Wave 2. See what's included, and it will say Off if you haven't turned it on yet. But if you click on Manage, uh, you can click Update Now, and it will warn you, Warning, this can't be undone, so make sure you want to do it. And if you have an existing sandbox that's used for development purposes, uh, you may want to set up a new one, copy your configuration into it, and then turn the new new releases in there. Uh, and if you click to see what's included, you can get to a list, which I'll put in the show notes, of the new features that are available for early opt-in. Keep in mind that there's different kinds of things in Wave 2. Some of it is enhancements to existing functionality and experiences. Some of it is uh, new functionality and experiences. It's mainly updates to the existing experiences, such as the ability to customize the opportunity close dialog, which is, in my opinion, one of the biggest things that people will notice immediately is that they can they can customize that dialog box when you close an opportunity. And uh, also the business card scanner, which isn't really a, an existing functionality, but is available for early opt-in. Uh, and a couple of objections you might be giving is, well, Joel, I've got business card scanner with AI Builder in the Power Platform. That's true, but AI Builder is an additional cost. In the new license guide, it's $500 a month for AI Builder, which is really good if you want to leverage the image recognition and things like that. But if you only want the business card scanner, uh, then something like this is going to be great because everybody with D365 for sales uh, will have business card scanner. If you're in Europe, you're probably laughing at me and saying nobody uses business cards anymore. That might be true where you live. Although I think the Queen of England has a business card, so you might want to check on that. And it's a new month, August, and we have new MVPs. Every month they announce new MVPs. And congratulations to Beth Burrell for becoming the latest business applications MVP. Beth is from the Tampa area, and she joins uh, Chris Cognetta, Sean Tabor, Scott LaFonte, Steve Mordu as uh, our latest Tampa-based business applications MVP. Beth is extremely active online in LinkedIn and Twitter and uh, has has spoken at numerous conferences, so well-deserved Beth Burrell. Welcome to the sometimes crazy MVP family. And let's look at some of the new connectors for the Power Platform for Flow and Power Apps. So first we have Cloud Immersive Virus Scan. This lets you scan files for viruses and malware in the cloud. And so as you have a Power App where people upload a file, uh, this is this is great because you'll be able to use this to scan that file for viruses. I'm not aware of any other virus scans in the Power Platform as part of the standard connectors, so that's great to have that. And we also have a couple of third-party BPM tools like Agilite and Serverless 360. Uh, so we have further integration with other BPM processes and platforms that will be handy if you use those platforms. And my productivity with Microsoft Flow went way up about a week ago with the addition of the new clipboard feature. What the clipboard lets you do is if you have a step or an action and you click the three dots, you can select Add to Clipboard. It's a preview feature, but it it works great. You can add it to the clipboard, and then when you insert a new action, instead of choosing a connector or whatever, you simply go over to the new tab that's on the right called my clipboard and you can insert it from there and it gets even cooler when you do a scope step and put multiple actions within that scope because you can copy an entire scope and then can add that easily so it can be used even to insert multiple steps 
And the final thing you can do with it, and I'll post a link to the blog post from the Flow Team blog, uh, you can actually paste that into a document of some kind or something outside of Flow, local to your machine, say a notepad. Uh, and then you can uh, copy that. And then when you uh, go to the clipboard tab in a new Flow, you can paste that in using the keyboard shortcut for Control V. So this is really handy and uh, will dramatically increase your productivity using Microsoft Flow. And speaking of Microsoft Flow, don't forget to register for the free Microsoft Flow online conference, which will be September 10th. There's going to be nine hours of great content there, uh, 18 different speakers. Unfortunately, my session <laughs> didn't get selected, but that's okay. I've seen this. I've seen this. The uh, agenda and it is awesome there's some really good topics and really good speakers there so i'll be there and uh, go ahead and check it out it's free you don't have to travel anywhere so what excuse do you have september 10th go and register now and not to be outdone microsoft power apps added copy paste uh, functionality where you can right click on a control like a checkbox like a text input like a label field and this is extremely helpful for repetitive stuff because if if you're creating a form for example you'll probably insert maybe 20 different uh of the same type of control this now makes it very easy i can right click and copy paste but not only that there's keyboard shortcuts so i i love using keyboard shortcuts on my computer for my when i'm in my browser or in microsoft word or other applications this makes it just as easy to do that when i'm creating power apps so good news is you can copy and paste in Power Apps now as well. This has been the Power Platform Daily Brief from CRM Audio for Monday, August 5th, 2019. I'm Joel Lindstrom, and now you're up to date on the Power Platform. This week on CRM Audio, make sure you tune in for the newest episode of the XRM Toolcast. Later this week, we'll have a new episode of the FNO podcast, as well as some other daily briefs and some other podcasts. This is your daily brief for Monday, August 5th, 2019. Power on.